1127 F Avenue was originally designed by Reckwood and Jackson Architects. The house was designed in 1925 and I believe completed in 1927. I think the original cost of this house was $57,000, if that's even imaginable. And it was done, I think, in the most perfect style. If we look at classic work in uh, this style architecture and textbook work, this house had all the elements of what was done by George Washington Smith and other renowned architects. Richard Requa, who is one of my heroes in architecture, he is a master architect and he really started the popularity of Spanish Revival architecture in San Diego. I have actually worked on a couple other Requa homes and I've always fantasized about this house because in my opinion, 1127 F Avenue is the crown jewel of Richard Requa's career. To think about what it took to build this place in the 1920s is incredible. I mean, they were a hardworking group of people that put this house up back then. A project like this takes a team, and it takes certainly a lot of teamwork. Everyone was dedicated to making this one of their finest projects. We were incredibly fortunate to have the top people in each field work on this project and really bring it to life. 1127 F Avenue was a masterpiece before we got here. And fortunately, we were able to improve upon it. And in my opinion, it is the finest house in Coronado. It is a piece of art. The project was divided into uh, various parts and actually took us four years to complete. The design goal on this house was to not create something new and different, but to pick up where Richard Requa left off. The integrity of the original home was timeless, and our goal was to continue that idea that in another hundred years, that this house will look timeless and current yet historic. The new and the old should feel like it's coming from the same hand or at least the same mindset. 100 years ago, we didn't have all the technology that we have today, so we really needed to deconstruct this house to be able to insert the technology that the clients wanted and that the house kind of deserved based on the era that we're building in. This has been the biggest and most complicated construction piece that I've built in my career. But my team and my crew, we kind of, we like the complicated things. One of the largest challenges on this project was the basement. The basement's partially underneath the original masonry structure, which was a challenge in itself. We held up the masonry structure, dug underneath, and excavated out almost the entire backyard, which required enormous feats of engineering. There was 80 watering wells that had to be installed. We pumped six million gallons of water out of the ground to be able to install this basement. It has nearly a four foot thick foundation on the bottom. The top deck is 33 inches thick at the thickest spot. It has five miles of post tension cable and it. it's built like a bridge. Another piece of that was holding up this giant brick house, but it gave us an opportunity to build this beautiful stairwell that went down to that space. It had a grand basement, 7,000 feet with a grand entrance that went down into it. We had the opportunity to create a movie theater that is truly um, one of the most amazing movie theaters, I think, that exists here in San Diego. And the screen, the sound system, the um, accessories, the lighting, the seating, there's nothing better and nothing more elaborate. One of the most important things for me is the hand craftsmanship. No matter where you look, you see something that is um, well beautifully executed, certainly not dated. The artisans that were brought in to work on this house were really from all over the world. It's a global effort, you know, to try and get some of these things assembled here in this home. There's so many 
of those details here that I could go on all day talking about them. I mean, it's it just everywhere you look is something special. So you'll notice the uh, scalped beams, even in this space in the entry where we're sitting, that is a hand crafted detail. And so to recreate that detail, uh, we were fortunate enough to have a woodworker who was able to do that work. One of the most important parts of our project was the opportunity to work with um, Albert and Holmes, which is a, a family here in San Diego that are specialists in trompe work. The trompe that was designed for this house basically became part of the architecture of the house, being that there were painted designs, geometries, stencil details, uh, freehand floral details, it basically applying art to the architecture. And many of the products that are in this house are brought from other countries. The arch ceiling down in the basement, those pieces up there are reclaimed English roof tiles. They were somebody's roof 200 years ago, and we were able to cut them down and make them look like bricks and install them on the ceiling down in the basement. We brought materials in from France that are 17th and 18th century stone materials. We brought in some of the architectural details of a stone surround that's from Portugal, that's part of our garden. And then when we needed things that we couldn't find, we made them. The beauty and magnitude of this house is apparent from the street. One of the very strong design elements of the original home was the symmetry between the covered loggia, which consists of three arches, and its symmetrical alignment with the tower in the backyard. The pool is reflecting the image of the tower. Well, I think number one for me is seeing the project finished. I really do appreciate the livability of the project. Certainly we maintained the architectural integrity of it and even improved in terms of the quality of that architecture with the changes that we made. My vision of what I'm doing is different after working on this project, it really is. Working on 1127 F Avenue has been the highlight of my career and I will always look back on it as one of my favorite projects. To be able to work on something like this residence is an honor to my legacy. There's nothing in San Diego or any part of the world that is like 1127 F Avenue.